hey y'all welcome thank you for stopping by for another video thank you for everyone for um sticking in there i know i haven't made a video in a while um as most of you know i've been making masks trying to donate and help people in the community locally and um i've sent some as far as new york and um california so i wanted to share some friend mail that i've received it's been sitting in my p.o box because i haven't been out there to check my mail in about two weeks this first one is a thank you card from Gina, and she's Gina Loves to Craft. It's just a thank you um, for a giveaway that she won from my channel. I do still need to pick the winner from my last Share My Projects with Friends. I just have not had time to do that. This next one is from Joanne, Joanne Hamilton. She's a subscriber. She also won a giveaway from my channel, and this is a, I think this is an Anna Griffin, um, one of the kits. She has a thank you there with the washi across the front. Oh, this is handmade. Because this is like a journal card, one of the Anna Griffin little stickers. And then she did some polka dot paper. And then it opens up like that. And that's the message that she has on the inside. Really cute. I like how she did that. So that's the one from Joanne. And then this is the one from Gina. And then she included this really cute little mason jar pocket with a little tag in there that's cute thank you so much and also these tags right here it's six clear tags that say just for you this is the miss sparkling co and that's what's in the package thank you so much joanne i also got a postcard from soleil and she's enchanted by craft and this is what it looks like it's a journaling card that she wrote on the back and it so thank you for entering her birthday challenge she um sent me some ephemera and then she made me some rosettes this cute little shaker pocket where she stitched this butterfly here at the top and it's like a little shaker with some looks like she die cut some pieces out of crepe paper and also made some rosettes on that that's really cute I love the way you stitched across the top and then some ephemera pieces that I'm not going to take out because my craft room is a mess right now I still have my sewing machine out as well and then my friend Beth um, Beth hasn't done a video in a while but Beth does sublimation Beth does quilting paper crafting everything so Beth if you're watching I hope you get back to making videos real soon Beth knew that I was doing masks and she said she had a lot of 100% cotton that she used to do quilting with because that's what they recommend you make the um, mask out of so I do do a a double layer of 100% cotton and she said she had some fabric that she used to quilt with and she would send me some so she sent me a big package the other day there's that green some orange there's some blue this really pretty one with the watermelons and like ants and flowers on it and then this one's like a cream color there's a pink like tie-dye there's an orange in there. What was all this one piece? This like goes into purple. Really pretty. Then there's this one, like a red. There's some, uh, like the bear paw and some leaves. There's this blue. And fabric has been really hard to find. I've been ordering from Joann's online and picking it up curbside. This is really pretty one with the greens and purples. I think that's like a fish, like the outline of a fish. And then there's this cream. There's this blue. There's another like brown, this cream with flowers. This one. this one thank you so much for these Beth I can get a lot of masks done with these I have been donating to like cancer patients making the bouffant caps for nurses and also the masks I do have some CNAs in a nursing home that needs some so that's what I'll be using this fabric for and that will make a good one the mask and the cap and then this cream with the green leaves and the yellow flowers it's really pretty blue one with the stripes so a lot of variety in this bag it's that one and this one 
and let me just say that she did not charge me for this this is all fabric that Beth has donated to me to make masks this one right here There's this one oh this is pretty too There's some green with the leaves. There's this green one. I love this print here. It's pretty. And this one kind of coordinates with that. Then there's this red anchor. This one here. And this cream one. It did come in a bag. I just have everything out of the packaging because I've been opening up my mail on the porch. Again, this is fabric that I got from Beth to help with my mask making. And then I got a card from Gina, who is Gina Loves to Craft, Joanne Hamilton, and also from Soleil, who is Enchanted by Craft. I will leave everyone's links down below. Thank you so much, ladies, for thinking of me. I hope everyone's being safe and staying home. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.